FIBO Global Fitness Africa, powered by Discam Pharmacies, is thrilled to welcome the fitness influencer Natasha Kisten Skoos, aka Fit Like Mummy, as the face and body ambassador of Africa's biggest health, wellness, and fitness festival. As a 40 year old mum of two, Natasha, aka Fit Like Mummy, is breaking fitness stereotypes by documenting her weight loss journey. Her honest approach to fitness, health and wellness has meant that Natasha has been able to connect and inspire a variety of people who are on their own fitness journeys. Starting out at a whopping 108.5 kilograms and a dress size 46, Natasha has proved that a lifestyle change will transform more than just your body. Despite three major setbacks on her journey, and when at her lowest and wanted to quit, Natasha remembered why she started, and this kept her going. She is a woman who is the epitome of no excuses. Ladies and gentlemen, the woman of the moment, fit like mummy, Natasha kisden -Skuse. What motivated me to make this life-changing transformation was the fact that I got extremely ill in December 2016 when I lost my eyesight and I was sitting at my desk with swollen feet. I was rushed to the doctor only to find out that I was hypertensive and my blood pressure was extremely high. Um, my doctor mentioned that um, I was a ticking time bomb and if I didn't do something, my kids would grow up without a mother. How and where I found the discipline to continue with this journey was the fact that my kids are my life, they're my heartbeat, they're my everything and the idea of them growing up without me uh, is just not an option and uh, I had to do it for them. So when I started out the journey, it was really something for my kids to make sure that I was going to be in their lives for as long as possible. Adopting a, a transformation and a lifestyle change like this is extremely difficult in terms of time because you do need time to work out and to prepare amazing meals and to do all the right things but it's also a life choice and it was a choice that I decided to tackle and uh, I made little changes you know we stopped watching television we spend a lot of time on the couch and we don't move in that time so as a family we stop watching television as a family we do everything together so whether I go to fitness events or to the gym or I work out at home, my kids go with me. So I do get my quality time in with my family, but they're part of my lifestyle. And at the same time, I'm teaching my kids that it's so important to be active and to live a healthy lifestyle, and they're reaping the rewards. And I've proven to people that you can be a mom and have a job and fit in things that, where you prioritize yourself. So I've had a lot of women that have started the journey because of mine, and it's partly the reason that I want to continue and I want to make a difference. So it's amazing for me to watch them uh, improve and lose the weight and just get healthier and get off the couch. Getting in touch with the FIBO team came as quite a surprise um, because they actually approached me. Um, they were obviously came across my journey on social media and it struck a chord because I'm a real person and uh, it's what FIBO is about. It's about encouraging real people to make a change to improve their lives. So it's not about, you know, you can't do it because you have a job or you're not a fitness specialist. It is about the real person. FIBO is a very good example that every one of us needs to look out after ourselves and prioritize our fitness because we will be living our best lives if we do that. My advice to someone starting on a fitness journey is to really take a step back, take stock of your life and decide if you are worth it. Decide if you want to commit to yourself and if you want to invest in, in your life. Um, the people around you will only benefit from your life if you are in your best health and you are you know, mentally, physically, emotionally strong. And you can't do that if you are prioritizing everyone else. So once you do that, it's pretty easy. Everything else falls into place. <laughs>